Okay, so this is a recording of the uh, current status of AVR, the current progress. So this is the first screen that I'm going to see when I open the app for the first time. Uh, this is where I can log into the application. Uh, so I have, I have the option to either log in, uh, sign in manually using my email and password, or I can type the code that was sent, sent to me by my school in order to log in directly to that school's portal uh, into my account. So let's see, my school has given me a code. So first of all, I'm going to log in as a teacher, uh, create a new course, create a lesson, and then I'll log in as a student later on and uh, play back the course that was, play back the lesson that was created by my teacher. So let's see, Eon, yeah, 2416, that's the code that was given to me and press go. So this logs me into my account I can create a password if this is the first time that I log in, and I can change my name or add a picture. Okay, so this is the uh, this is the school's portal, uh, and what I see here are all of the um, public lessons, public courses rather that are in this uh, that are assigned to this school. So one course will contain one or many lessons. So that's what a course is, it's a collection of lessons. Uh, so these are all the public ones, but if I click on my courses uh, on the top there, this goes into the courses that I have created personally as a teacher. So um, if I go into one of the courses, let's go back to the library and uh, click on human anatomy here, for example. So this is what a course looks like. As you can see, it's a collection of lessons. And so there are two tabs here. One is the lessons over here and the other is the students. So these, if if students had been added to this course, uh, there would be a list of all the students that have access to this course. Uh, so I'm, we're going to see that later on when I actually create my own course. So I'm gonna go back to my courses up here and click on the plus button in the bottom right. And so now I'm in the course creation mode. So let's enter a name for the course. Uh, let's, for example, Digestive 101. Uh, we can assign, we can say who this is for, what grade. Let's make this for the eighth grade um, and type an objective. So, okay, next we press next. We can choose an icon for the lesson. Um, let's choose this one because this is sort of related to anatomy. Uh, click next. We can choose a color theme. So this will be reflected in the course page, but also, also when we create a new lesson for this course and when we play back the lesson as a teacher, as a student later on. Uh, let's go with a, I don't know, a yellow color. Now we can choose uh, what category this belongs to. I'll just go with animal anatomy. Okay, so now that my course has been created, I can go ahead and either import a lesson, an existing one, or create a new empty lesson, which is what I'm going to do now. Create a new empty lesson. So it's loading a list of 3D models that I can use in my lesson. Uh, let's go into anatomy and use the digestive system. Okay, so we are now inside the lesson creation interface, the design template. Uh, which the teacher will use to create a new lesson. So in terms of the navigation, the teacher has the ability to rotate around the object like that with their finger, to pinch to, to zoom using two different fingers, and to double tap on any part of the object to see it in more detail. Okay, um, there are a few functionalities that are accessible using the buttons in the bottom, right, in the bottom left corner. Uh, X-ray will make everything transparent. Um, side view will explode the different parts out. The annotations will display all the annotations that were create that were generated automatically when the lesson when the uh, creation started when the teacher opened this interface. And dissection, which enables to move parts around like this. So all of these functionalities will be a lot more useful to the student later on than to the teacher themselves. Okay. Right, so on the right side there is the um, activities panel. So this is going to contain a list of different activities that the student has to complete. So that's what a lesson is in AVR. It's a list of activities that the student has to complete in order to finish the lesson. So the first one by default is the introduction, um, which I can click on like this, and this allows me to record some some introduction uh, audio about my lesson. Now, um, I've named my course Digestive System 101, 
So if I make multiple lessons inside of this course, I'm going to make each one of them focus on one particular aspect of the digestive system. And uh, let's say that I want to make this one about the uh, intestines. So I'm going to record some audio to introduce this to my student and say that this lesson is going to be about the, in the intestines. All right, I've recorded my audio. Let's listen to it to see whether it worked. This lesson about the digestive system is going to focus on the intestines. Okay, that sounds good. Now, I'm going to add some more activities to this. this. Now, first of all, I'm going to add a more, some more in-depth recordings, um, specifically about the digestive system itself. So in order to do that, I'm going to add a memo. And I'm going to select the intestines here. And so now I'll be able to add some audio about the intestines. And when the student plays this lesson, it's going to automatically zoom into the intestines and play back the audio that I recorded. So let's get that done. All right, I've recorded my audio. Let's listen to it. The intestines are one of the most important parts of the digestive system. Their role is to digest food and to filter out waste. All right, so let's say that I'm satisfied with this. I can get the panel out again, and I can start adding some challenges for my student to test their knowledge. So the first thing I'm going to add is a quiz, for example. Now the quiz is going to ask a question to the student and have them answer it. Um, now I'm going to make my quiz focus on the intestines by first zooming on them and then adding the quiz. And that's going to make the quiz be about this part. Now by default the question is what is this? And the different answers are taken randomly from different annotations that are um, that are attached to this object. But the teacher does have the possibility of changing that. So let's say I want to change the question here. And I want to make it... And I can manually modify every one of these answers and then select which one of them is the correct answer. Or which ones, because I can do this for multiple ones as well. Let's put... Filtering waste. Okay. So, of course, the correct one here is filtering waste, so I'm going to unselect swallow. There we go. And click on done. And then I can change how long I gave my student uh, to answer this question. So, I can give them any amount of time that I want, up to one hour. I'm going to let them take 20 seconds to answer this. Alright, so I've added one activity, the quiz, and now I can start adding other ones. Um, Let's add another memo and give some more information about this object and then make the student um, answer some more questions or complete some more challenges. Let's add a memo about the small intestine this time. And let's record some audio about it. All right, I've recorded my audio. Let's listen to it. The small intestine is situated between the stomach and the large intestine, and is where most of the end absorption of food takes place. Okay, great. Now let's add a locate mode, which will ask the student to locate a specific part of the object. In this case, I'm going to make them locate the small intestine. There we go. And done. And then, let's say I'll give them a minute to do this. go. And then I'll give them an, an, an identify mode here. Identify challenge. And I'll make them identify the large intestines. Done. And because this is kind of difficult, they have to enter the name. I'm going to give them two minutes to do this. All right. And finally, I'm, go I'm going to add a build mode. Now, the build mode will require the student to manually build the object back together. I'm going to make them build uh, the entire thing. Let's make them build the digestive system itself. There we go. And they'll have a minute and 20 seconds to do this. All right, 
So now that I'm satisfied with my lesson, I can publish it to the portal and add it to my course. So I'll click the Save button down here. Do you, do you want to save your lesson? Yes. Okay, great. So my lesson has now been added. Of course, and there it is down there, Digestive System. Um, now I'm going to need to add my students to this. So let's go ahead and add some students. Clicking the plus button here, Add Student. We're going to log in as Mark Oliver later on. All right, great. And now here's a list of all the students that have access to this course. Okay, so that was the um, teacher flow, and now we're going to log in as a student. All right, now let's log in as a student. So I'm going to enter my student code given to me by my school. There it is, Eon1575. Click the Go button. And this logs me in as Mark Oliver. So I'm going to create a password. There we go. And so here, once again, I can change my info. So this takes me once again to the school portal, but this time I'm a student. So I can visualize courses, view courses and playback lessons, but I can't create new courses because I don't have those rights. So once again, we have the same public courses that we saw earlier here, but I'll go to my courses here. And my courses is now the courses that I have been added to by teachers, not the ones that I've created myself. So we can see here that there are a bunch of them, one of which is Digestive System 101, which I created just now. All right, so let's go to the lesson. So there's the Digestive System lesson. And so now I'm going to play it as a student and get an actual score on it. So let's go ahead and play. All right, so here's the, um, the starting page of my lesson, I have the title, uh, the learning objectives, which in this case are empty, but if the teacher had added some objectives, they'd be here. And uh, let's click on the start button. This lesson about the digestive system is going to focus on the intestines. Okay, great. So uh, right away, the introduction audio started playing, giving me an introduction about this lesson. Um, as the student, I have the same functionality that we saw earlier as the uh, teacher. I can rotate around the object, pinch to zoom, double tap on any part to zoom into it, and pinch to zoom further. Uh, I also have the button inside there. Exploded view, the I can show all the annotations. So this is going to enable the student to follow the flow of the lesson, either by clicking on the next and previous buttons to, to go to the next activity or the previous activity, or by directly jumping into one of the activities that the teacher has prepared, uh, if they want to skip something. But of course they won't be able to finish this lesson until they've actually completed every activity. So even if they skip something, they have to come back to it later on. Okay, so let's go to the second one, which is the, um, the focus, the memo about the intestines. The intestines are one of the most important parts of the digestive system. Their role is to digest food and to filter out waste. Okay, so that was the memo. Um, so now that I've acquired this knowledge, I can go to the next item, which is the quiz, and click on Go to start. intestine is situated between the stomach and the large intestine and is where most of the end absorption of food takes place. Very cool, so I got a star because I listened to all the audio files. And my score is 5 out of 65. Alright, so let's go to the next item. Locate. Okay, so I have to locate the small intestine. So as the student, I have to go and zoom into the correct part. So this is the small intestine. But let's
let's let's answer wrongly. Let's say that I zoom into the large intestine and I try to answer. My total number of points up here has decreased to three because I provided a wrong answer. So I have to, I have up to three tries to do this. Okay, now it's time for the identify mode where I'm going to have to enter the name of the part of the part of the object that's presented to me. see on this page that uh, my score is reflected down there at the bottom of the uh, of the page so I can see how well I did last time <laughs> 